So we have Curtis here, as well as Dr. Power, and Curtis, knee pain, I'm assuming? <laughs> yeah, uh, well, I work out four to five times a week, and I also play soccer, so I'm pretty active. Uh, just recently, I started getting this sharp pain right below my knee. Directly right here, below okay. my knee. Okay. Yeah. So what are we doing here, and let's talk about what might be going on. Well, I mean, where he's pointing is where people get patellar tendonitis, and that, we also call it jumper's knee, but you also can get some other tendonitis in the knee, some pain underneath the kneecap. So this is a, a great for, a stage four high level uh, laser therapy. And what it does is it actually goes down deeper into the tissue than some of the lasers they were using in the past, and it stimulates blood flow. It also increases the temperature somewhat, and your cells can take the, the energy from the light and convert that into energy for the cells. So the idea is, is this is something that could help with pain on the short term, but more importantly, it leads to healing. So this is something where you're basically inspiring your body's own healing mechanisms. And of course, you guys are wearing the goggles because this is a laser. Uh, I'm hoping that I'm far enough yeah, away. Uh, oh, Mark and I are... <laughs> so, Curtis, can you feel anything? Uh, yeah, I'm starting to feel like a really kind of warm sensation all around near my knee. Yeah. And what kinds of injuries could this be used for beyond just the knee. I mean, it, it also can be used for pain control and arthritis. It can be used on, on muscle tears as well as joint issues like he's having. Uh, obviously, the tendonitis that you see of the patella, uh, runner's knee, you could use it in the shoulder as well. You could use it all over the body for a number of musculoskeletal problems. And so everyone here is dealing with either chronic or acute on chronic issues. What is your number one takeaway as far as we weekend warriors or those of us who are trying to stay active where we can avoid these injuries in the first place? Well, I mean, obviously it, it all goes back to what you're eating, how you're working out. I mean, you, you want to stay, stay in good shape cardiovascularly. You want to stay strong and you want to stay flexible. And then, I mean, I like all of these modalities as opposed to taking pills, because a lot of people just want to take a pill and they want to be well. And the thing I always see is people will hurt themselves and they think it's just going to go away. And sometimes it does, but you need a little bit of rest. That's right. And you need to get some sort of treatment, therapy started. These are all three great options. Dr. Addis, thank you so much. Thanks, Travis. Appreciate it. And, and thank you all. I hope this provides some relief.